Sergei Karyakin, aka the Minister of Defense, was born in Simferpol, Crimea in 1990. From an early age, it was clear that he was a prodigious talent in the game of chess, winning his first tournament at 6. When he was 12 years old, he had already become the youngest player to achieve the title of Grandmaster. Although there is some speculation around this achievement, some people believing that he fixed a game to reach the requirements. This was a feat that had previously been held by none other than the legendary Gary Kasparov. This record has since been beaten by Abhimanyu Mishra, who beat this record by three months. Karakin quickly became a household name in the chess world, known for his very strong defensive abilities, which earned him the title of the Minister of Defense. It is important to note that in 2009, Karakin switched his citizenship from Ukraine to Russia. As the years went on, Sergei kept on winning. In 2012, he became the World Rapid Champion. Two years later, he had won Norway chess for the second time in a row. He then went on to become the World Blitz Champion, and in that same year, he won the Candidates Tournament. Winning the Candidates meant that he could challenge the current World Champion, Magnus Carlsen, for the crown. However, Karakin's fortunes took a turn for the worst when he lost the match in tie breaks after having drawn every game in the classical section. The defeat was a crushing blow to him as he had been hailed as a potential challenger for Carlsen's dominance in the chess world. From that point on, his career began to decline rapidly. He struggled to find his form and was beset by a string of defeats and disappointments. In multiple tournaments, he had bad placements, finishing 8th in the London Chess Classic and even last in the 5th edition of Norway Chess with a disappointing score of 3.5 out of 10. As the years went by, Sergei's reputation as a chess player and public figure continued to decline. He was still active as a chess player and competitor within the highest levels of chess, however didn't come back to the form that he had once found in the lead up to the fight for the world championship. In 2022, tragedy had hit the news for Ukraine. They were under invasion from the Russian forces by order of Vladimir Putin. As the world rushed together in solidarity and support for Ukraine, with 44 of the top Russian chess players even releasing a statement to Putin asking him to quote, stop the war, there was one person who did the opposite, Sergei Karyakin. Karyakin took to Twitter to not help or raise a awareness of the situation but to laugh in the faces of the suffering Ukrainian people. With this disgusting tweet, which was quickly deleted of him making a joke calling Ukraine stupid, Karyakin had put the final nail in the coffin for his reputation as a chess player and as a person. Deservedly so, he received a six month ban from chess by FIDE, the official worldwide chess organization, and was banned from playing in any events whether online or over the board. Another disappointing note to add is that after making all of these awful comments, receiving bans and being hated by the entire chess community, he was given an award. Vladimir Putin himself awarded Sergei with the Medal of Order for quote, merit to the fatherland, where Putin supported Sergei's online statements about the invasion. There is not much else to say about Sergei. From once an incredibly highly acclaimed chess player, winning world championships and fighting for the world title, to watching his career crash and burn in historic fashion after supporting the suffering of hundreds of thousands of people. I believe I speak for a lot of chess players when I say I wish to never see him again. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Love you all. Goodbye.